Stop focusing on your strength. You have the capacity to take over a hundred nations. There's a spirit in man, the Bible says, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. All you need to do is to yield to the spirit inside of you and let him flow through you. Watch this video and get inspired by the spirit of God. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that it will change our lives in Jesus name. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I want to share with you a very deep spiritual mystery tonight that controls relevance. A mystery tonight that controls the continuity of the impact upon the life of men. Hallelujah. This is a mystery that controls transgenerational relevance. It is the key that can keep you after many years, even when people are falling by the wayside. The Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. That means that just because you started well does not mean you will finish well. Just because you started um, from a standpoint of relevance and impact, it does not mean that you will finish that way. Pay attention. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We'll read from verse 1 to 8. To everything there is a season. Someone say season. So the Bible tells us that there are seasons and a time to every purpose under the heavens. Uh huh. There is a time to be born, it says. There is a time to die. There is a time to plant. There is a time to pluck up that which is planted. Verse 3. There is a time to kill. There is a time to heal. There is a time to break down. There is a time to build up. Verse 4. There is a time to weep. There is a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn. There is a time to dance. There is a time to cast away stones. And there is a time to gather stones together. There is a time to embrace. And there is a time to refrain from embracing. We're still reading. There is a time to get. And there is a time to lose. There is a time to keep. And there is a time to cast away. There is a time to rend. And there is a time to sow. There is a time to keep silence. And there is a time to speak. The last verse. There is a time to love. And there is a time to hate. There is a time for war. And there is a time of peace. Oh intelligent student. What was the common word in every sentence? Time. Everything kept changing except one word, time. Time. He connected everything to times and he connected everything to seasons. First Chronicles chapter 12, please, and verse 32. First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, the Bible says, which were men. Help us under the anointing, please. There were men that had understanding of the times. He says, and they knew what Israel ought to do. As a result, the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. They were people who had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel had to do. Ready for the last verse? Psalm 90 and verse 12. A verse for wise people. So teach us to number our days. That we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Can we read it together? One to read. That we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Please may I request that protocol all the vacant seats aside from these ones. Please let them be filled. There's no reason why we should have empty seats when there are people standing. Please, please. Hallelujah. We rise in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know. I've taught you that a mystery is a modus operandi 
a a body of knowledge that is privy to a group of people in this case privy to believers men and women who are in christ and so when the bible talks about the mysteries of the kingdom it is a revelation of the modus operandi of the kingdom the way the kingdom operates so that by accessing these mysteries we can reign we can excel in life we can live when the lord opened me up to this truth it so impacted my life i i wish that i i could gather the whole world and preach this message to everyone alive because as you will be learning there are severe consequences for not knowing these truths that i'm about to share it does not matter whether you are a pastor a politician a businessman it doesn't matter what walk of life young old this is a truth that applies to all hallelujah praise the name of the lord this is the secret for transgenerational relevance you understand what i'm teaching you tonight after 30 years you will still be standing standing strong and doing so much for the kingdom hallelujah praise the name of the lord the bible tells us in genesis chapter 41 please pay attention that there was a king in egypt called the pharaoh of egypt is that true and then the bible says once upon a time that this pharaoh of egypt went to bed and this pharaoh had a dream and it was a very very mysterious dream it was a dream that troubled him he was so troubled by that dream when he woke up the bible says he gathered all his wise men we're going to read it but just a background and he said what is the meaning of this i'm 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 faced with a dream here that i cannot interpret that dream you see ladies and gentlemen controls a mystery there is a revelation behind that dream the first thing i may want this is powerful because there are certain levels of revelation you cannot be trusted with until you rise to certain realms the dream that pharaoh had even though he did not honor the god of the hebrews the god of heaven he was the only one who was in a position to do something about that dream there are times that God will have to make do with unbelievers because there are no sufficient unbelievers in strategic positions that can allow God reveal some things. Hallelujah. Which is dangerous. We must never get to a point in our lives where God would have to teach us through unbelievers simply because believers have not accepted positions of strategic influence to allow them host the purposes of God for a season or for a generation anyway but in this case so pharaoh has this dream and he calls on the people and eventually joseph comes and he begins a discussion that will be a lesson for us tonight praise the name of the lord please follow me patiently as we explore this dream because the dream is a mystery a mystery that speaks of a um, a reality that is in the life of all men failure to know this will cost you more than you can imagine genesis 41 from verse 1 help us holy spirit and it came to pass at the end of two full years that pharaoh dreamed and behold he stood by the river verse 2 it's a long reading please be patient media let's walk together and behold there came up out of the river seven well favored kind and fat fleshed and they fed in the middle uh-huh behold seven other kind came up after them out of the river ill favored and lean fleshed was just talking of cows or calves and stood by the other kind upon the brink of the river and the ill-favored and lean flesh kind did eat up the seven well-favored and fat kind this is the first mystery this is his dream now pharaoh has a dream and he's seen two sets of cows one fat healthy looking the other slim 
and then in the process of time remember we're dealing with time that the lean ones ate the fat ones and never increased in size just went like that verse 5 and he slept and dreamed the second time and behold seven ears of corn came up before one stock rank and good next verse please and behold seven thin ears and blasted with the east wind sprung up after them and the seven thin years devoured the seven rank and full years and pharaoh awoke and behold it was a dream and it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled and he sent and called for all the magicians of egypt and all the wise men thereof and pharaoh told them his dream but there was none that could interpret them unto pharaoh follow carefully then spake the chief butler unto pharaoh saying i do remember my faults this day pharaoh was wrought with his servant and put me in the ward in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker he's narrating something that happened and we dreamed a dream in one night i and he we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream and there was there with us a young man an hebrew servant to the captain of the guard and we told him and he interpreted to us our dreams to each man according to his dream did he interpret and it came to pass as he interpreted to us so it was me he restored unto mine office and him he hanged 14 and pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto pharaoh pharaoh said unto joseph i have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it are we still together and i have heard of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it next verse joseph answered pharaoh saying it is not in me god shall give pharaoh an answer of peace pharaoh narrates the dream one more time in case you didn't get it the first time let's try it again in my dream he said behold i stood upon the bank of the river and behold there came up out of the river seven kind fat fleshed and well favored and they fed in the medium and behold seven other kind came up after them poor and very ill ill favored and lean fleshed such as i never saw in all the land of egypt for badness and the lean and ill favored kind did eat up the first seven fat kind 21 and when they had eaten them up now this is the fearful part of the statement it could not be known that they had eaten them so this is not an issue of hunger now but they were still ill favored as at the beginning so i awoke and i saw in my dream and behold seven ears came out in one stock full and good and behold seven ears withered thin and blasted with the east wind sprung up after them and the thin ears devoured the seven good ears and i told this unto the magicians but there was none that could declare it unto me 25 and joseph said unto pharaoh the dream that fair the dream of pharaoh is one and god has shown pharaoh what he is about to do the dream that pharaoh had pharaoh forget about all of the different things you saw it is the same thing you have seen isn't it powerful different scenarios but the message is the same god had to keep emphasizing to pharaoh pay attention because what i'm showing you will surely come to pass now joseph is interpreting the dream joseph said unto okay next verse 26 the seven good kind are seven years that means the cows have nothing to do with cows the plants have nothing to do with plants 
can you already see that many people have been making mistakes in their interpretation of dreams if many of you were to interpret these dreams now you will be surprised at the many ungodly extra biblical interpretations that will come from this dream is that true most people will start talking about something that god even is not his attention is not there this already is a lesson that it truly takes grace from god to interpret correctly i probably would have failed this interpretation woefully hands down who would ever know that a cow and plants could mean time he said what you saw has nothing to do with animals or plants it is a mystery of time the seven good kind are seven years everybody shout time please say after me years. years keep the scripture there please keep the scripture keep the scripture we're still working on it media and he says the seven good years are seven years the dream is one and the seven thin and ill-favored kind that came up after them are also seven years and the seven empty ears blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine this is the thing which i have spoken unto pharaoh what god is about to do he showeth unto pharaoh now pay attention let's take it again you are pharaoh the king of egypt and you go to bed and out of the many many things you can see from the realm of the spirit god superimposes your revelations to bring a matter of urgency that joseph says will surely come to pass and then you have this dream and this young hebrew boy comes to tell you the dream represents two sets of time are we still together that the seven good cows just like the plants are seven good years and that the other one represents seven years also and here is the mystery that years can eat years i understand that animals can eat other animals is that true but i never knew that time can also eat time pay attention now that seven years of plenty can be eaten by seven years of famine to the degree that you would never imagine that there was once years of plenty this is a very powerful mystery please pay attention behold there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of egypt and there shall arise after them seven years of famine and all the plenty shall be forgotten shall forgotten hmm. in the land of egypt and the famine shall consume the land 31 and the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of the famine following for it shall be very grievous next verse and for that the dream was doubled unto pharaoh twice it is because the thing is established by god and it will surely god will surely bring it to pass now therefore let pharaoh look out for a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of egypt he's bringing a solution now let pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up a fifth part 20 percent of the land of egypt in the seven plenteous years and let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the hand of pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities and that food shall be for store in the land against the seven years of famine is someone learning already which shall be in the land of egypt that the land perish not throughout the famine just stop there we'll take it from 37 shortly now please look up 
Pharaoh is receiving counsel from a young boy empowered by the Spirit of God and he's sharing a mystery that Pharaoh no matter how powerful you are no matter how powerful Egypt is God is revealing to you that there is a law the law of seasons that it is a law that will switch it has nothing to do with you being good it has nothing to do with you being bad it is the law of seasons is that true and that in every man's life born again or not this law is not one you can pray out of your life it is established pharaoh what you have is not just a dream for egypt it's a mystery to be given to men that in the life of every man born of a woman the law of seasons is applicable to all there will always be seasons of plenty represented by the fat cows and there will always be seasons of leanness the difference is whether you heed to the advice of joseph or otherwise those who disobey joseph are about to pay the price with their entire lifetime because years can eat years are we blessed joseph tells pharaoh this is not something you can pray and say god change it no you see let me tell you this when god created the earth the bible tells us that he made the stars to signify times and seasons the law of seasons is a very powerful spiritual law that many believers have not been taught and many well-meaning innocent people have had to pay the price because they did not know how to discern seasons our opening scripture ecclesiastes says there is a time for everything it begins to list various events but the consistent factor is that there is a time for them hallelujah yes pharaoh hunger is about to come to the earth famine is about to come to the earth and that includes egypt but you have a chance now there is a season here in africa especially in nigeria we have you know and all of that but then let's walk with what we know we have rainy season and dry seasons please look up how many of you know that all those seasons have their features is that true yes when it is rainy are we together now it doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor educated or uneducated the moment it is rainy season there are certain things that are given to you by reason of the season the land is soft enough for cultivation you do not need to labor so much to till the ground because the rain has done that for any season why because the season comes with it an advantage of a cool weather you may not go through so much labor to clean and fight dust because the season itself helps to purify the air if that season is done it will switch to another season and you will look at the ground as though water never fell on it is that true you will see the ground cracked you will see wind that was ever green now looks dry and brown and it looks like water never fell there you look at the clouds and they are so clear you come out in the night and you can see the stars not because something else happened to your eyes an advantage of seasons now it is still possible to farm during the dry season but you will have to find a way of outsourcing water to simulate a rainy season during dry season for the plant to grow this is very powerful you can afford to be careless with your car for instance during the dry season your wiper is not working your lights are not working you can afford your tires are not strong you can play all those games but when it is rainy season one night you just come out and without any notification a heavy downpour comes and you see the consequences of not having a good wiper is that true you may not know how wrong you are during the dry season but another season can show you whether you were doing right 
or not seasons are powerful there are many things you may be doing wrong but just because you have not arrived at a season that will show you how wrong you are you may think you are right for a long time until seasons change and there are times you can be doing something very right and look like a fool for many years because the season that shows your wisdom has not yet come once upon a time the wisdom of noah looked like foolishness because the season of rain had not come is that true he kept putting the animals there and others were laughing at him and said to what end is this but a season would soon come pharaoh what you saw is a mystery that happens to all men that no no matter how anointed no church no politician no government no nation has one season forever oscillating seasons is part of the law of seasons that all men must understand why am i telling you this i'm teaching this message out of a heart of passion and sincerity with, with no sense of sarcasm whatsoever have you seen people who maximize certain seasons in their lives but they forgot that seasons will change and they ignored the advice of joseph until the seasons changed this has caught up with politicians it is terrible to be out of relevance in your lifetime this has caught up with men of god this has caught up with family people changing seasons that no season no season ever remain to a point of penury there are politicians today who were once instruments of awe and honor and because of lack of discernment of seasons they came down there are sincere men of god they didn't backslide but they were careless with the discernment of seasons and today they have been brought down to nothingness pharaoh the dream that you have is deliverance it is a mystery that if you understand will save you the law of seasons is god speaking to us in every man's life there will be this season of fatness and there will be this season of lean cows what do they mean write this down according to the vision or the dream of pharaoh and the interpretation of joseph the seven years of plenty represents seasons of ease seasons of abundance and seasons of opportunities the seven years of the fat cows the seven years of the or the seven years of fat corn and and the flourishing plants represent seven years of ease e-a-s-e -E. years of abundance and years of opportunities please if you're writing underline the word opportunity seven years of fat cows represent years of opportunity what opportunity opportunity to know god opportunity to maximize destiny opportunity to invest in your life and then the seven years of famine represent moments of constraint moments of inconvenience moments of scarcity the seven years of famine represent moments of constraint moments of inconvenience moments of scarcity for various reasons for instance let's use biological age how many of you agree that by the time a man is 60 or 70 years prepared or not seasons would have changed the strength that you have when you were 10 20 30 may not be there again you may not have that kind of energy again seasons have changed and if you are a worker in this country maybe a, a federal government worker a civil servant prepared or not there's something called retirement is that true 
The meaning of that is that you may not have the opportunity to go to work and collect a regular salary again. The reason why pension works is because it's part of obedience to the advice of Joseph. Is that true? That from your seven years of work, something is kept so that by the time you retire, it will be given to you again. We are coming there. So by the time a young man in ministry who is probably in his 30s or 40s is now living in the season of a man who is 70, 80 years, a man who may not have the energy to run around and the young man too is doing man of God, big man. You know what you are doing? You are already destroying the opportunity that you have for the seasons that are coming let me tell you this there are many people there are i watched an obituary there is a course in the school of ministry under personal transformation i i teach the students on something called the graph of life it's an attempt to give the students wisdom to help them understand the brevity of life to the end that they live efficient and effective lives are we together and this this came as a result of an obituary i saw please look up in this obituary it was a two or three minutes um tv program and this is what i saw i saw a man who was in his late 80s now had died and they were announcing but for some reason they were able to gather his photos i don't know how they found it photos when he was a young boy to a teenager a young adult an adult in his middle age becoming elderly an old man together with his grandchildren and then a few moments on the sick bed before he died they ran that slide within two minutes and i saw a man's entire destiny run on a slide within two minutes when i watched that it had an impact on my life and that's where the scriptures so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom and I made up my mind that I was going to build a course out of that experience to teach the school of ministry students that as 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 long as life looks it is deceptively brief there is a hymn that says life at best is very brief like the falling of a leaf hallelujah are we learning something tonight Please do not take anything I'm teaching tonight personal. It is truth that I will give you. I have seen people in old age today with nobody to help them. They walk alone as though they were never, they never had the privilege of youthfulness. And the question I'm tempted to ask is what did they do with those days? Because at that time the lean cows have come to eat up the fat ones. I told you yes can eat years there are people today who retired as directors ceos and yet they may not be able to raise hundred thousand with honor because during their time of glory they did not know that seasons change there are musicians today respectfully speaking there are sportsmen today once upon a time if you mention their names people will stay awake but today they can move around on the road and you see them and not even care about them why because seasons have changed is that true yes once upon a time in this nation when you mention certain names once upon a time in africa when you mention certain names as powerful as these great men are look at men like reinhard bonke look at men like tl osborne look at men like um billy graham as much as we love them the truth is whether we like it or not according to the law of seasons eventually they have gone seasons that means everybody who finds himself on the stage you better realize someone left there before you got there and realize that very soon the light of destiny is pushing you out now listen there is the deception that comes with these seasons of glory it makes you believe you will never leave the stage for any reason 
this has deceived men of god this has deceived people in politics this has also deceived parents they forgot that these children will one day grow and they will be young and they treated the children in an evil way many of them today are old and wrinkled and left alone by angry adults who were once babies there are nations today who did not take advantage of their human capital to invest in the young people during the seasons of power most of those young people are now the thieves that cause mayhem in society There are people who rose in honor. They never raised anybody in their lifetime. They didn't raise anybody from their community. They are the only ones. And when the devil attacked them, he got them alone because they had no support system. Learn the wisdom that comes from this mystery tonight. Pharaoh, the dream is twice because it is established. There is nothing you can do against it. You can only build a system to overcome it. Them 